All right, Gary, here we are at 28442 Las Palmas. Um, house from the exterior has a great curb appeal. Really looks good. Landscaping's incredibly well done. Got the nice set of, are those royals? Foxtails, maybe foxtails. Foxtail palms, um, got the crottons, it's nicely landscaped, mulched. Yard's in good shape, really shows well. Quiet part of the neighborhood, obviously. Um, got a lot of space over here. You know, that guy's on a corner. So yeah, the exterior of the property shows incredibly well. So you got the pre-drills here with the shutter, which is nice. And then over there too. Nice little entry alcove. This door can use a little TLC. You said something about paints. You may want to at least look into getting that restained. Okay, if you're gonna do some painting, that would go a long way to kind of freshen it up. Um, just the entry look, you know, that first that first appearance that you get when you come into a house. So um, I would ask the painter about that, restaining those doors. A lot of different flooring around here, which isn't which isn't too much of a major major issue, but it's just something that I noticed. Um, you know, piece there, that piece is obviously going to be repainted. Whatever you had back there, house flows pretty well. It kind of goes a lot of different directions. Older cabinets in here, so that kind of you know makes you feel like you know maybe. Somebody can uh, beat you up on that a little bit, but the kitchen, kitchen's in good shape. Did, did a piece of granite not too long ago. You got a little island, and you got your access door out to the patio, which is nice as well, okay? There's probably some dome lighting in there, so that was removed. Got a nice pantry here to my right. Um, you know, again, older, older vanity in here, cultured marble, but no big deal. And it's got a nice setup with, with the door that leads out to the patio as well, okay? So um, all in all, the setup of it and the, the layout and the flow of the house is, is very good. You know, like the utility room, you got a dump sink. Um, you got an extra counter space over here, obviously, to fold and to, to put all everything you need. The garage is nice and big and wide. Long extra space up here. Uh, almost makes me think that this probably could have been the washer dryer space at one point, but who knows. Um, pull down the stairs. You got all this extra space up here, so it's it's, Set up really nice, you know, nice guest quarters on this side of the house. Again, here's, here's a little bit of different flooring um, and, you know, different carpet. So, you know, that's one thing that's going to step out to people, but, you know, I don't really suggest changing the flooring. It's, 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 it's a lot of work and it's expensive. Um, so I wouldn't suggest that at least big, given, given what you have. I mean, you have, you have a nice property here. You're going to kind of be on the lower end of what the entry level price points are. In here, I think it'll show a lot better once we get all the blinds opened up. Um, so, you know, you'll be able to see out and kind of like accentuate the best part of the house, which kind of is that exterior pool area. There's a lot of, you know, staining here, these little spots. I'm not quite sure exactly what these are. Um, I kind of put my finger to it, and I honestly, I couldn't get a good feel. That may be something worth looking into too with the painter. It's just repainting or pressure washing. I'm not sure if they'll come up with a pressure washer. Um, you know, it's gonna hurt you a little bit on the view. It's set up the best way it possibly can with, with the landscaping. I mean, it's, it's they made it as private as possible and it, it's really nice. Um, but, you know, obviously being on the golf course would be a big plus. Uh, that's, that's, a, that's a big big deal for people as far as the view goes, especially when you're in a golf course community is having that, um, that view over the golf course. So that's just something to keep in mind, you know, um, probably be a little bit quicker sale, a little e easier sale with the view on the golf course, but again, we're not changing that. Love this room, big, big open space, main living area, high ceilings, you know, it's pretty well tied in to the kitchen, you know, somebody may take out this, this little, this little wall here, but that wouldn't be a lot of work, um, just to bring that in. Not sure what those tiles are for. I see those there, so that's something I can ask about as far as what really those tile floors are doing there, because those ones don't match anything that I've seen in the house. Uh, different carpets in here. Um, I'm not sure we talked about whether or not we we're selling it furnished or not. Um, so that's something I wanted to ask about. Dual closets, and this is, you know, besides the view, uh, or lack thereof, this is really the main thing that people are gonna people are gonna scoff at and make it a little bit of a tougher sale is you know your rose pink floral main shower and then 
your lower cabinets, cultured marble in here. The faucet's been replaced, the windows look like they've been redone. The flooring's even a little bit newer. It's just, just the vanities. And again, I don't think it's worth uh, putting the money into it, but you know, make it make it a little bit make it a little bit of a tougher sale. You know, master master but master bath is important, obviously, because it's gonna be, you know, what the owner of the property is gonna be using. So they're gonna they're gonna beach up a little bit there. So it's a, it's a really nice house. Like I said, I think once we get these blinds opened up, it's really gonna help out a lot. Now, as far as the comps go, I sent you a lot of that stuff yesterday. Um, those are kind of the numbers I was using that I sent. Oh, sorry, this way. The price per square foot, 180 to 185 is kind of the, the range of price per square foot sold in here, which brings it out to a purchase price somewhere between 360 and 375. That goes with what's happening on the actives here. You know, the three low ones in here, that'll be gonna be your main competition, 385, 390, 394. Um, a couple of these ones are bigger. They're 160 a square foot, 166. These are older homes built in the early 80s, 1980. Yours is built in 91. So I may go preview those just to see where we're at as far as competition goes. But yeah, pricing it somewhere in that 380 to 390 range and hopefully get somewhere around, you know, 370. Uh, plus or minus five or ten what it is is kind of the goal if we were to list it today obviously the market can change week to week and that's something we need to talk about because you know i actually spoke to Ileana this morning and you know she kind of agreed with me on, on the assessment of you know you got two options you can list it before the new year somewhere you know october november time and try to get it sold before the lease starts and have the new owner um, reap the benefits of that that lease money, which I know you weren't a huge fan of, but it is a big plus in, in, in a way to get it sold, um, where they where they're going to get you know that whatever it is eight ten thousand dollar cash back um, for the seasonal lease, or you probably just have to wait until season's over because that that tenant's not going to allow showings, in, in, nor should he. You know that's something you can broach with him if you want to, if that tenant would allow showings, but for the most part they're not tenants aren't typically. Um, real amenable to, to having showings done while they're you know spending spending that kind of money for a lease so you know like i said mull it over you got two really good options as far as getting it on the market trying to get it sold before the lease starts or even you know you can even sell it during during the lease to be honest with you that makes things harder with inspections and things like that but you can prorate lease monies um but there is a good option there to get it sold prior to the lease have the new buyer honor the lease and and, and, and get money back um, from whatever those seasonal rents are that you're getting, or you may have to wait until after the lease expires because you're not typically you're gonna get somebody that wants to close you know, five months later, which is kind of what you're gonna be asking for if you get it listed in November and wait until the lease expires. So something to think about. We'll talk about it as we go along, okay?